We'll end this AI basics course with a discussion of the prospects of AI. Generally speaking, we now have a strong foundation for future AI developments. It's easier to design and deploy, algorithm performance is improving, and computing power is more accessible. This leads to the development of new ways to use AI. Let's look at these points in more detail. In terms of the ease of development, the industry has come up with several deep learning frameworks. The three main ones are currently PyTorch, TensorFlow, and Mindspore. All three are open source and free. They're powerful, intuitive, and can be used on a wide range of AIs. TensorFlow was originally developed by Google staff, while PyTorch is from Facebook. They both facilitate the design of deep neural networks, supporting machine vision, natural language processing, and other types of AI applications. PyTorch is widely recognized by the academic community for being easier to use. Mindspore is a framework created by Huawei. It has capabilities comparable to those of PyTorch and TensorFlow, but it requires about 20% fewer lines of code. The framework has also been optimized to cut down training times. Let's now turn to algorithm models. Ongoing improvements are setting the stage for new levels of AI performance. This is illustrated by the ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge, an annual competition that compares the effectiveness of systems trained to identify and classify images. In 2001, the best systems had error rates exceeding 25%. It's now below 3%, which exceeds human capabilities. Recently, a computer program called AlphaStar defeated the world's best human player of the science fiction strategy game StarCraft II. It was based on reinforcement learning, a subfield of machine learning that trains by maximizing cumulative rewards. In natural language processing, an emerging approach is the concept of attention. A deep learning model launched in 2017 called Transformer pre-trains the AI to use attention to direct computer resources towards the key parts of written or spoken language. Instead of just processing speech word for word, models like Transformer discern the key data being communicated. AI developers have also been improving the efficiency of AI applications by designing smaller, deep learning models. Generally, a model performs better when it processes a larger quantity of parameters. However, in industrial settings, more data can slow down processing. Deep learning models can be made more efficient by compressing the model size. And this is achieved through a variety of emerging techniques. Meanwhile, computing power is becoming ubiquitous. Whereas in the past, processing power was mostly done in the device, AI apps can now take advantage of cloud computing, as well as with 5G, edge computing. This is taking place while the number of chips optimized for AI operations is rapidly rising. With all these advances in AI technology, developers keep coming up with new use scenarios. One extremely intriguing application is providing social skills to autistic children. AI-powered robots capable of replicating humans' facial expressions and movements patiently and tirelessly teach autistic children how to deal with humans in a variety of situations. These therapeutic robots combine NLP and computer vision to communicate with their little patients. I know it's counterintuitive to use robots to teach human-to-human -human interactions, isn't it? But many autistic children are comfortable with this, and the alternative is highly specialized pediatric psychologists who are in extremely high demand all over the world. Another new application is vehicle insurance and loss assessment. For humans, it requires a lot of training to become a skilled assessor. But it's not a particularly nice job. It involves looking at photos of damaged cars all day long. Deep learning algorithms can be put to use to build systems that rapidly assess vehicular damage. 
Office automation is an area of rich potential for AI that also poses huge challenges. Not only is each industry unique, but within a company, offices may operate differently depending upon the languages, customs, and regulations prevailing at each location. Still, AI systems are being developed to automate office work. Huawei's office management platform, WeLink, for example, simplifies mundane tasks like processing expense reimbursements or leave requests. This brings us to the conclusion of this introductory course. In less than one hour, we've covered a lot of material. The history of AI, how it's created, how it's used, and the technology's future prospects. We hope that it's helped you understand what AI is all about. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.